after the bombshell debate between Vice President Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, you have a big question lingering. Well, two big questions. What's going to be the impact on the polls, of course? And also, will Trump agree to another one after the disaster of a debate that it was for him? Will he subject himself to, again, a night that could potentially go poorly like it did two nights ago? And he seems to be really struggling with that decision. You'll see here, he's, he's nervous to commit, but he's also nervous to the, announce that he's definitely not going to do the debate. And I think, and actually we'll address what I think is going to happen after watching this. And, no, we're looking at it, but, you know, when you win, you don't really necessarily have to do it a second time. So we'll see, but uh, we had a... Uh, I thought we had a great debate last night. Well, Thank you very much. What would need to change for you to agree to a second debate? Would you want different rules? Would you want a different format? Well, you know, when you when you don't win, it's like a fighter. When a fighter has a bad fight, gets knocked out, or loses the fight, the first thing he says is, we want a rematch. So we won the debate according to every poll, every single poll, I think. That, uh, are we going to do a rematch? I just don't know. But we'll think about it. Would you still do the one on NBC on September 25th? You, you proposed that. Are you still committed yeah, to that? I would do NBC. I do uh, Fox too. I do Fox too. But right now we have to determine whether or not we even want to do. It. We had a great night last night, and you see by the poll numbers, it was really fantastic. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Press. Thank you, Press. So he keeps and the Fox. I was looking a little confused there. He keeps repeating these same things every time he says them they get no more true uh than they were before and that's notably him asserting that he was determined to be the winner based on credible polls no the, the things he's citing are surveys done by people on social media of their own followers or an outlet like newsmax doing it of their own followers so that doesn't give us any insight and the credible meaningful polls that we've seen have obviously determined that vice president harris had the better night and impacted undecided voters in a more effective way obviously we could notice that ourselves but then the second is he keeps repeating this idea that the only reason you would want to do another debate on the part of harris is if you thought the night went poorly that's also not true she could want it which is why she wants it because it went so well and she wants to try to build on a lead that hopefully the debate is providing to her campaign. And then interestingly, Trump did already, as the reporter asked about, did already commit to an NBC, I guess, September 25th debate. He posted saying, these are the three dates I'm doing. Harris can decide if she's going to show up. And it was a Fox News one on September 4th, pretty sure, earlier in September than the one that just happened. And then later, and he is uh, now backing out, it appears. But here's, before getting on to other posts of his, here's what's going to determine, I think. If he sees, as I'm expecting we're going to see in the polls at least some, shift in Harris's direction, and it feels like she is heavily favored to win the election, we'll talk about polls, we'll talk about a conservative pollster's major prediction about this in a different segment but then i think he's gonna out of desperation this is the only opportunity i have to go in front of this uh, many millions of americans so i'm gonna take it because i gotta do something to prevent the momentum if she doesn't get much of a bump in the polls based on her great debate performance and other campaigning initiatives then trump might stick with what seems to be what he is arguing on behalf of most assertively which is not doing another debate he did post this just coping 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 people are just starting to give me credit for having a great debate the voters and voter polls showed it but the fake news media wasn't giving the credit that was due now they are seeing the results with independent voters evangelicals and more and saying wow remember i wasn't debating one person i was debating three false they should fire every." <laughs> Okay, they should fire everybody at ABC Fake News whose two lightweight anchors have brought disgrace onto the company. I don't know if the majority of Americans agree with that, Donald, but this sentence is interesting to me. 
people are just starting to give me credit for having a great debate. Two things. No, they're not. Only people who already supported you super aggressively feel that way. But two, he came out immediately and said, everyone's saying it. Everyone knows. I did amazing. Everyone agrees. Now he's saying only now are people acknowledging, which they're still not, but that he did great. So then earlier when you said everyone thought that, were you lying? If you haven't already and want to support us on our race to 1 million subscribers, you can do it by clicking that subscribe button below. Easy, free, simple. It makes all the difference. Back to the video. And he just keeps going. Now we're into September 12th. I won the debate, but was criticized by the radical left lunatics because I looked angry and forceful. But think, why wouldn't I be angry? I love the USA and it's being destroyed. And then he goes on to list all of the grievances we've heard time and time again often quite distorted then you have to see this we covered it right after but then morning joe put together a compilation of i think the best term is trump scoping trump trying to convince people that he did well not by doing well in the debate but by saying he nailed it over and over maybe you'll think oh wait yeah you're right i completely everything i heard everything i saw that didn't actually happen and, and Trump must be right. And seeing all these moments back to back is quite the experience. Take a look. What made you come to the spin room? I just felt I wanted to. I was very happy with the result. We're looking at polls. The worst, the worst poll that we've had was 71 that I see. We had a 92% rating in one poll. 80 to 20. I told that to Brett Baer. And uh, so we sent him a lot of polls, and we sent you a lot of polls this morning. We had an 86% rating, and another we had 77%. One poll is 92% to 6. It's 92 to 7. 92 Mr. President, to 6. speak louder! 88 to 11. All of the polls are 60, 70, and 80. 86 to 3. Well, I mean, but every single poll last night had me winning like 90 to 10, 71 percent to like 24 or 25. Percent. Why don't you do a shout out poll who they thought won the debate last night? It would be great. <laughs> you know, we always do the poll at the end, Mr. President. I think uh, you why don't you do it while I'm on the, yeah, I'm on the phone now? Okay. The polls are indicating that we got 90 percent. 60%, 72%, 71%, and 89%. Where are you getting these the numbers from? Are... And there, and there you have it, Willie. The race is over. Uh, 86 to 3, he wow. tells one person who responds with, wow. You won 86 to 3, <laughs> did you, Comrade Stalin? Oh, the, all the Soviet people must love you, really love you. No, but, I mean, that's part of the, well, that's not part of the problem. I mean, that's a huge problem. He lives in an alternate reality. And his... Isn't it stunning to see it back to back? You can tell Kamala Harris broke him, as we've been saying. He's, he can't, he can't handle it. The way that he desperately went out to the spin room shows that. Him repeating and allies of his repeating lies about Kamala Harris having an, an earpiece in. She was getting answers fed to her or she knew the questions ahead of time. False. The whole debate was rigged in her favor. All of that is them using dishonest language to communicate the same thing that everyone's communicating, which is it was Harris's night and Trump's disaster. And, and for him to keep repeating these, these really, it's a sad thing for him to do. These surveys of fans of his, essentially, hey, Trump supporters, what did you think of the debate? And then to keep repeating, I think it was one of my best debates. It, it's pit pitiful, right? It is. If it weren't Trump, You'd almost feel bad. But I'm really hoping. And if a big bump in the polls happens, I do think Trump is going to have to take another shot at the debate. But I really hope another one happens. We'll see. Let me know what you thought of that in the comments. Will Trump do another debate after this week's? And you can support the show by clicking the join button below.